what day is it? Does anyone know? <laughs> no idea, no idea. I'm like, I'm in between quality suits and twiglets. I've no idea where I am or what's going on. First of all, I'll explain my voice. I'm not ill, I've decided to start smoking crack. <laughs> it's going really well. Um, I'm a Christmas crackhead. It's going really well, cracker, cracker. Um, so I have some news, Brighton, I have some news. I got married recently. Oh, oh, oh. You know the song, he liked it, so he married it. Um, whatever the song is. Um, so I got married recently. Um, it's going very well, I love being married, he's lovely. Um, he's a fellow comedian, so I didn't marry him for his money. It's better than like that. Um, but he's going really well. Um, he, he says the sexiest things to me. The other day he said to me, I filled the car up with petrol. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. He also said, I'm gonna make you brunch. Oh. Yeah, oh. smashed avocado, yes please. He poached my eggs, oh, gorgeous. And the other day he said, I think we should do our big shop at M&S. Oh, yes, please, shut it. <laughs> fit. Um, he, <laughs> so fit. He said, um, he's quite tiny, I'm quite a tall lady, thank you for noticing, man-sized if you will. Um, he's, he's quite tiny, he's a teeny tiny little man. I mean, he's bigger than a burrower. <laughs> smaller than a hobbit. <laughs> just about likes potatoes. So when we first started going out, <laughs> see, you're good, glad some people got that. People don't often get that. It's a Lord of the Rings reference. Um, so the other, when we first started dating, whenever he was walking behind me, I always thought he was proposing. <laughs> so I'd be walking along like, I do. And he's like, I'm just walking along. <laughs> Fuck's sake. But it's been quite cold lately. So um, I was, the other day I asked to borrow his long johns and then I went, oh, sorry. John's, just John's, just John's. Nothing wrong about them. Bless him, bless him. But I didn't, I didn't want to mention it, uh, but I will, uh, the C word, Christmas, yes. You're like, oh no, I don't mention it. I love this time of year, I love this time of year. It's the only time of year that you can have Baileys in your coffee in the morning. It's amazing, so you're like, yeah, love it. Christmas, I've got a little bottle, and I'm like, at work, and I just have bump it. My it's Christmas. I'm not getting employee of the month this year. <laughs> I'm just gonna top up my coffee. And then the rest of the day goes really quickly. It's great, I have a lovely time. Um, it's also the time of year where you like have to send out your Amazon wish list. Like what do you want for Christmas? I mean, modern technology, um, this is what I want. But I sent it out to my dad and then I forgot to take off the self-help books. I was like, <laughs> Why doesn't daddy love me? He go, get me that, dad. This is bargain, it's 9.99. We'll work out our problems. It's also the time of year that you can have hot alcohol. I never think about hot alcohol any time of the year. And then we get to like November and then I'm like, oh, yes, please. Mold wine, mold cider, mold milk. Yes, please, mull everything. <laughs> mull everything, I love it. But like, can you imagine, like, I don't think about it any time of the year. So if, can you imagine going into a pub in June and saying, can I get a medium Shiraz? Can you pop it in the microwave for just, <laughs> just a couple of minutes and then put some orange in it and a cinnamon stick and that'll be lovely, thank you. Don't think about it. And then I get to this time of year and go, fucking yeah, give it to me. Hot alcohol, <laughs> love it, it's the best thing. Um, but the other day, uh, oh yeah, um, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, I forgot <laughs> what, because I'm, I'm not very well, I forgot about it. I'm fine, I'm fine, everyone. I'm fine. You're like, oh, shit. But I have been eating a lot. I've been eating like Henry VIII at the moment. Is anyone eating all of the things? Yes. It's all of the things. I'm eating pizza like it's an amuse-bouche. <laughs> like, <laughs> like a little pre-snack snack and then dinner. Um, <laughs> like cheeky little stuff. At the moment, it's um, a, a baked camembert. Oh, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hot cheese. Hot cheese, hot wine. That's my vibe. So I've been having like so much to eat. I've been putting on, like piling on the pounds. I mean, you can't diet in December. It's not the rules. It's not the rules. You can't diet in December. So I thought, I know what, I'll try and go to the gym, be fit and healthy. I hate going to the gym. Anyone that does like going to the gym is a sociopath. 
So <laughs> it's true. Um, so I've been trying to go to the gym, and I, I hate going to the gym because I'm really I find it really stressful. I think the only thing that's more stressful is having a burrito and trying bum sex for the first time. <laughs> I'm not speaking from experience. I'm just uh, hypothesizing. I spoke to James earlier. Um, <laughs> he told me. Um, so I think it's quite stressful, but I'm really forgetful. So whenever I go to the gym, I always forget something, whether it's like my hairbrush or my willpower. Like, oh, <laughs> not again every time. But the other day, I worked out the worst thing to forget, and that was my towel. So I got out of the shower, and I was like, fuck. <laughs> How are you going to solve this one, Kate? So I thought, I know what. I live in Brighton, I'll air dry. So I was cake pushing my way around the changing rooms. <laughs> it's me, I can't see, I'm covered. It's all cold. But I wasn't getting dry quick enough because I had places to go, people to see, pizza to eat. Um, so I thought, I know what, I'm a genius. I'll go under the hand dryer. <laughs> now, we have those hand dryers at the gym that are quite forceful. You know, the ones you get at Gatway. <laughs> so I was dry in no time. However, I did feel bad for the other people in the changing room who had to witness my fan noir <laughs> looking like it was skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't go to that gym anymore. I'm not allowed back. <laughs> Thank God for Joe Wicks. Said no one ever. He's a terrible person. I hate him. Joe Wicks, <laughs> Joe Wicks went on holiday recently to the Maldives for free. He can afford it. I'm like, where's my hashtag gifted? Do you know what I mean? I, I, can, I can't afford it and I'd like to be gifted. So he went on holiday. I, I did go on holiday last year. I went to Gran Canaria. Oh, I know. Because I'm secretly an aging gay man. <laughs> That's my spirit animal. <laughs> and I love cock. Nom, 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 nom. So Moorish, isn't it? So Moorish. Just can't get enough. Um, <laughs> of my husband's, obviously. <laughs> Not just anyone's. Um, <laughs> it depends. No. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it depends on what's on offer. No, so um, I went to Grand Canaria and uh, we had a lovely time. And it's that thing, isn't it? I went with my friend and she said, um, isn't it weird? This time last week, we were at home. <laughs> Isn't that mad? Isn't that mad, isn't it? It's mad. <laughs> or like this time next week, we'll be back in the office, won't we? Oh. But right now, we're paddle boarding with Pablo. It's just mad, isn't it? It's mad. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you don't do it with anything else. So you don't get paid and go shopping in Waitrose. <gasps> You're wandering up and down the aisle, being booty, booty. You go, oh, God, seven pounds for a... Essentials brioche, yes, please. I have two of them, please. Thank you. I just got paid. <laughs> so weird. This time last week, I was crying into a pot noodle. <laughs> and now look at me, <laughs> living my best life. <laughs> or go, <laughs> it's, it's true. Or go on a first date and you're sitting opposite someone. You go, God, it's so weird. This time last week, I had another guy's dick in my mouth. <laughs> What are the chances? What are the chances? It's so weird how that happens. <laughs> so strange. So, it just falls in. Um, but I was single for a long time. I was single before I met my lovely husband. Um, being single, is, do we have any singletons in tonight? Yes! Yes! Nothing, yes. yes. shut, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I love being single, it's great. Are you on like dating websites and things? Uh, websites, all right, mum. <laughs> Are you on the internet looking for love? <laughs> yeah. E-harmony. Um, <laughs> so there, there's the apps, right? So we're on the apps. So um, I was on... Uh, uh, does anyone know Tinder? Yes. Tinder is a terrible place full of terrible people. <laughs> terrible. I was on Tinder and there was a guy on it who wrote <clears throat> on his bio, right? So this is how he's planning to meet the one, the love of his life. And he wrote, I want to crack an egg in your ass. <laughs> Go on. I want to crack an egg in your ass and fuck it until it scrambles. 
flag. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, he had more red flags than the end of Lame is. Do you hear the people sing? And now I'm married to him. Isn't he lovely? Thank you very much. I'm Kate McGann. Have a good night. Kate McGann! We've got one more act in this section. Keep that round.